Hi everyone, I am Mark Novati and today I will show you a new way to develop a PI flow using uh, Eclipse. Starting from uh, the newest release 731, the Eclipse based tool uh, became available for PI and with the newest uh, service pack, in particular with uh, SP6 which was released uh, in the end of uh, this January, uh, we found uh, that uh, the gap with uh, the standard tools is being bridged with uh, the ESR and the uh, integration directory now being more or less completely ported uh, uh, to Eclipse or better to say NetWiga Developer Studio. And for the sake of this uh, demo I will show you a very basic uh, integration flow file to file with a simple mapping. Um, okay, uh, the first uh, thing uh, is uh, the configuration of the environment, you have uh, to specify just uh, the system name and the URL and the port of the system. Obviously, you can maintain uh, more than one uh, PI system and you can test the connection. The Eclipse based tools are organized uh, into mainly three perspectives. The first one is the Enterprise Service Browser, which allows you to create uh, the design content of the PI flow. Then uh, there is the runtime uh, configuration uh, perspective which allows you to create the configuration content of the PI flows and the last one uh, is uh, the runtime monitor perspective mm. and uh, it provides some basic uh, uh, monitoring features embedded in Eclipse so let's start with the first perspective First you have to log in to the, in the PI system, so just the username and password. You can see on the left uh, there is uh, the list of the software components available uh, on the system. With uh, this demo we will use uh, the as a training software component. We just need to create a namespace. So you have to create uh, obviously a change list in order to contain uh, all our modification on new objects. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's okay, so inside track. Mm -hmm. Okay, if we expand the namespace node on the left, you can see that the objects are organized in the different types. In this case, we need to create uh, two different, uh, um, as I said, it's a file-to-file configuration scenario. The first file will be uh, an XML file which, we, it, which contains two elements, first name and last name. And the second one is just uh, one element with the name, which is the concatenation of the first name and last name. It's very simple. Uh, as you can see, it's very simple to use. You just have to, it's very intuitive. Uh, there are available, uh, as you can see, some uh, standard, the standard uh, types of XML. And uh, here it's just the standard data type. Then we need to create the second data type, so person2. With this data type, there is just one element. Then we need to create the two service interface, the sender and the receiver one. So here we need to specify the name according to more or less standard naming convention. So this one is the sender one, so it is an outbound one. We need to set uh, the category and then we just need to set the input message so in this case is person2 no sorry person from okay and uh, within this view uh, it is said that there is not uh, a sender message type so it is possible to create directly from here okay and the sender part, it's done. 
it's need to save and we will create the receiver one. In this case we will not need to set uh, the category because the default is unbound. So Again, we have to set uh, the message. So, person two. And create the message type. Okay, now that everything is created, we need uh, to create uh, the mapping. With this new version, there is a uh, uh, nice uh, tool in order to create a mapping. You just need to okay, specify a name. Then, obviously, the specify the sender, the source and target message type, sender case from and to. And if you go to definition tab, we can see the, send, the source message type and the receiver, and we just uh, drag and drop. You can. Okay, so I will drag first name, last name, and I have a built-in some of built-in function. So concatenation of first name and last name. We just need to, to double click on this block to set uh, the the laser. Okay. okay, the mapping is done, and uh, in order to test it, you need to generate uh, a test file. So just right click on the mapping and generate XML mm -hmm. file. You have to specify a project, and uh, for this you need a project in order to store your uh, test cases. Uh, this uh, is uh, a strange thing, it w this was a strange thing uh, in the first time, but uh, using it uh, I found out that uh, it uh, makes uh, testing quite convenient because uh, you store all your mapping, uh, your test uh, cases in one project and uh, it's nice because when you have to retest them uh, afterwards you have all of them uh, organized. So here is the automatic generated uh, test file. You just need to specify the test case. So just the yeah. first name, last name. And then right click to, on the mapping and uh, not that one. Okay, run configuration. Here you can specify from the workspace which is uh, the test file you want to use. So in this case, test. Just click to run. And here is the concatenated. Straight. Good. OK, then just one object is missing, which is the operation mapping. So we just need to create it. And then for the design side, we are done. So Here we have to s select the sender's uh, service uh, interface and the receiver one. So, person from out and person from to. Uh, person to. Okay. And then we just need to double click on the line to add the mapping program, which is um, automatically selected based on the message. Okay, the configuration, the design configuration is done, so we need to activate the objects. Okay. then we can go to the other perspective, 
which is called subprocess integration PI Explorer. Okay. Here we can see all the party and business system uh, available on our system, along with the, the co communication channels. In our case, uh, we will use uh, this test uh, business component, which is needed to add uh, the created service interface, uh, so the sender one and receiver one, <coughs> in order to be able to select them uh, during the configuration. Okay, and then in the upper part, uh, we can see the integration, the I flows. This is a new object which is a way you can create them just uh, from uh, Eclipse Base Tool. You can select uh, some design pattern, there are some standard ones, you can define your own one, but it is important to notice that they are not uh, fixed. Uh, you can select uh, either one of them and you can edit everything afterwards. This is the basic one. So we have a sender system, a receiver system, and this is represents the PI system. And uh, it's very simple. Uh, we just need to, for example, in this case, we need to send, select the sender system, so PI service, the service, the service interface we created, so person out, and the configure the sender communication channel. For this, uh, uh, there is one thing which is important. Um, with the first version, it was only possible to um, use uh, dedicated communication channels. So every integration clause had uh, its own communication channels. Uh, with this new version, uh, uh, there is also the possibility to reuse the communication channels. So it's <laughs> more flexibility like in the past. In this case, uh, I will use uh, the dedicated one. Okay, I just need selected the file type, uh, category. We need to specify the source directory. And the name of the file. Okay, here there are some other uh, configuration. Uh, we will set the polling time to two seconds just to be quick. <laughs> okay. Then we came back to the model configuration view. And uh, as you can see on the right there are some uh, errors because uh, this part is not configured. So you need to select the receiver system again. The receiver service interface and the channel. Uh, as you can see, this view is very nice because uh, it provides an overview of the process, uh, an high level overview. This is not speaking just to um, a PI developer, it's speaking from, for everyone. You can see immediately mm -hmm. what is the tool. So, so for documentation uh, or to speak uh, or to, yeah, to speak for PC interfaces with other people. It's, it's uh, very nice and easy to use also. And it's new with this version? Uh, no, no. Or it's available yeah, also? It's, it's, it's available just for Eclipse based tools. Okay. Yeah. Ah, okay. Okay, here I have to specify the target director and the target name. So output.xml. And it's done. Okay, we just need to save now. Ah, one thing is missing the mapping. We just need to right click on the line and add ma click add mapping. And then you have to specify the mapping. You can add more receivers, it's always uh, point and click. It's very, very simple, very easy to use. Okay. Mm. Okay, we just need to activate our object, our ITO. Okay, and then we will have a look. Oh, the old one. Yes.
Let's mark it. Okay, this is the old tool. Uh, the created object is this one. It's an eye flow, and if you double click, you can open it. You can see that there's nothing inside. Mm. So it's not cool. For, for now, it's nothing. You just need uh, to deploy it because uh, it's uh, just uh, the configuration of everything, but without uh, any anything generated. Uh, when you deploy it on the integration on the um, adapter engine, uh, all the objects are created. You can undeploy or deploy, so it's mm. more control. You can say. After the deployment, it takes a while. Okay. If you go back uh, to the old tool, okay, you can see that uh, two communication channels are created and an integrated configuration. You can see them. You can also edit them, but uh, it's not suggested because it's uh, <laughs> a bit risky. Okay, well, now we need to place the file in the directory, in the directory and the f rename it, input XML, and the file is, uh, the output file is created almost immediately. And as you can see, it works. Okay, uh, now there is the last view. On the left side you can see all the adapter engine of your PI system uh, within and uh, all the deployed uh, iFlows. For each uh, of them, there are some monitor functionalities embedded in Eclipse. You can, uh, for example, here click to channel monitoring, and it automatically goes to the channel communication channel monitoring of PI, selected <laughs> within, uh, you can see here, just uh, the communication channel related with the iFlow. So it's very nice. And uh, you can also select uh, the, the message monitoring, and again, the same. Uh, just uh, the messages related with this iFlow. Uh, yeah. Mm, you can also open um, the general message monitor clicking on the adapter engine or uh, just monitor the single channel. Uh, in the end, uh, now we have uh, a single point, a single uh, development environment in order to develop everything uh, in PR. It is uh, nice, fast, solid, it's easy to use and I found uh, it is easy to use for an experienced PI developer but uh, I think also for a new PI developer because the learning curve for this uh, um, type of uh, tools uh, it's much better so not bad at all. Thank you for listening. Thank you.